Umar Ali. I'm here in the O'Fallon Park neighborhood in North St. Louis and uh, interviewing a brother here. Now, brother, we're going to try to com compartmentalize what happened last night for the viewers and stages. Okay, so your house is near, it's in Jennings, but it's near to Ferguson. Right. For people that are not familiar with the St. Louis area, over 90 municipalities in St. Louis County, you know, all these little borders, they run in and out. Uh, and so your house in Jennings, you're trying to get home last night. Right. And, and, and what happened? You're trying to get home. Okay, so I, uh, I, I took a bus to, uh, down with Source and uh, I had to get off. In city limits, because right at the county line, they had uh, they had it blocked off to where you couldn't enter county lines. So I had to get off the bus there and go to the police barricade. Um, where was the police barricade at? Much more in Goodfellow. In Goodfellow, so, okay. So uh, when I get off, off the, off the and, and not to cut you off, was that county or city police? That's St. Louis County. St. Louis County, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So when I get off off the bus, I have to cross into through the police barricade. Mm -hmm. Towards my house, right across the street from my house uh, at Wilborn, there's a family dollar. And so I'm crossing this uh, crossing this family dollar parking lot trying to get in my house, and uh, cop cars pull up on me. And they were like, you know, "Hey, get off the bike!" And I simply asked, you know, "What did I do? Am I about to be detained? What's going on?" And they instantly just like SWAT style jumped out of the car, pulled me off the bike, and just started kicking me. So as they're kicking me and stuff like that. I'm like, hey, you know, I live that. This is my house right here. Uh, they going through my bag, dumping all my stuff out on the, out on the uh, parking lot. And I, I said, hey, why are you doing this? And the only answer I got was because I don't like you. Mm. And they don't even know me, so I don't know why. They would have you you never met these police officers never, before. Never before. And mm. so um, they were all St. Louis County police all officers. All St. Louis County police officers. None of them had on the had on name tags. Uh, they were all all black. All, I'm sorry, all white cops. None of them had on name tags. All white cops, no name tags. How many white people live in this neighborhood? In Jennings? Yeah. Oh, uh, that was so sad. Y'all heard about what's going on now? Right. We're, do, we're doing a video real quick. Um, so Jennings, is uh, the demographics are similar to Ferguson. It, it, it's basically 95% uh, uh, black community. Mm -hmm. and, and the other 5% is probably comprised of... Uh, Latinos and, and mixed individuals. You so see, you don't think too, too many of those white officers living in Jennings? I would go out on a limb, and even though I'm not absolutely certain of this, and say that none of them live in Jennings. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so did you sustain any injuries in this uh, uh, beating? Yeah, I, I, my my knees hurt. I got this big bump. I got this big bump on my leg right here. You probably mm -hmm. can't make it out, but I got this mm -hmm. big bump sticking out of my leg mm -hmm. here. It's mm -hmm. real tender right there. Mm -hmm. uh, my wrist is is torn. They, they shot my dog last night. So is your dog dead? My dog's dead. Did um, you did, tell so, me? So, so 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 like I said, as they were uh, beating me on this Family Dollar parking lot, my dog was barking in my yard. Mm -hmm. And he, my dog could see what was going on, so he squirms up under the fence and start running towards me, running towards me getting beat. And as he was running towards the cops, one of them drew their gun and, 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 and shot my dog. Man. What was your dog's name? Uh, his name's Pete. How long did you have him? I didn't have that dog for four years. I bought him when he was six weeks old. The good dog? Good dog. Good dog. What kind of dog was it? American Bulldog. And you know, if anybody, you know, I'm not, I don't have a pet dog, but I understand if you have a pet dog, you develop a very close bond with it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I, I had him for four years. I had him since he was six weeks old. Uh, bought him for my birthday in 2010, actually. So, what's the message of St. Louis County Police for killing your dog? Uh, I just think that it's unfortunate that uh, not only that, you know, they, they, treat, they treat us like dogs in the street, but shot my dog down like a dog in the street. Uh, because he was trying to protect me and I still don't understand why that happened uh, and I like to know like why I, my question is why are you all so upset like we're the victims of you know white supremacy and uh, of, of the brutality so like why continue to do that uh, uh, and, and, and in closing just tell me why you participated in the Mike Brown protest right yeah. and why did you decide to participate in the Mike Brown protest because I am Mike Brown. I am Trayvon Martin. Um, I'm, I'm Emmett Till. And if they can shoot Mike Brown down in the street uh, for no reason at all, if, if they can beat the hell out of me and take all my money uh, for trying to enter into my house, uh, 
then they can they can continue to do it if, if no one stands up and uh, and, does does some, and does something about it. Uh, but thanks for sharing your story. Uh, um, Omar Lee here with Brother T here in O'Fallon Park. I want. Brother Talal, what are you doing right now? Uh, digging a grave for my dog. You digging a grave for your dog? Yeah. What was the dog name? Pete. And as you told us in the video before, your dog, what, what happened to your dog? He was shot by the St. Louis County Police Department. So, shot by the St. Louis County Police Department. Oh, yeah. Uh, because they had set up a, a checkpoint, you couldn't get to your house. I was crossing this parking lot right here. Uh huh. I was crossing this parking lot right here when they stopped me on my bike, mm -hmm. pushed me off the bike, and started beating me. Okay. Those are my other two dogs that you hear barking now. Okay. Because we own this lawnmower shop and this pump right. shop. One of the dogs got out of the fence and started running down the alley. And as soon as he started running down the alley, they shot him right This here. alley right here. So they shot the dog in the alley? Man. There were co cops on the lot. They were beating on me, and there was an other cops parked right here. When the dog got loose, and of course ran towards me, he, you know he made it about ten feet out of, the, out, of the, out of his kennel, and they shot him. So, so you're doing the burial for the dog now. Yeah. Have you filed a complaint with anyone about this? I haven't. I've, I've been I've been in Ferguson since Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, basically. Uh, you know, just showing my support for the family and for, you know, the rest of my niggas. I ain't really had a chance to, uh, to even, you know, call in, file a complaint or anything like that. And in my opinion, it's really insignificant, you know, in, to the big picture. So maybe I'll get around to it. Right now I'm just trying to get the dog in the ground. Condolences to your dog, Brother Talal. St. Louis, Missouri.